On The Range Podcast. On The Range. Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of On The Range Podcast. Wherever you are, thank you for making us part of your day. I am Mark Kelly, and join with me, as always, is my co-host and friend, Rick Hogg from Warhog Tactical. How's it going, buddy? Man, Mark, uh, it's concerning. We got some yes. very concerning um, days behind us, days ahead of us. Uh, the recent assassination attempt on President Trump's life. Um, we as a nation, man, we, we got some concerns. And yeah. I, I'm going to tell you, um, looking at this whole thing as, as President Trump's out there, campaigning as he's been convicted as everything else has happened against this man um now it's kind of the final you know feather in the cap for lack of better terms trying to take his life yeah so what's next you know where's the next attempt gonna be yeah. but I, I i will tell you this uh my man is resilient for a 79 year old man that just got clipped in the ear after an assassination attempt, uh, next day he's out doing a round of golf. And, oh, by the way, he's not deterred. Uh, he's off to Milwaukee to go sit there and do another rally. So uh, some concerning times. But overall, hey, man, it, it's always great to be an American. Um, but this is where you, my fellow Americans, whether you're watching us or, or listening, thank you for giving us your most precious commodity. Uh, guys, we've got to be more active, right? And I'm not talking about hooping and hollering, burning stuff down. Here's the bottom line. We got to hold these elected officials accountable. You had nine individuals that didn't want to grant President Trump his Secret Service protection detail. I think they need to be gone. You got 198 congressmen that voted against the SAFE Act that required you to be a U.S. citizen, show some proof of ID that you are a U.S. citizen in order to vote. Troubling times. The Dems have been sitting there pumping all this rubbish our way. And here's the thing. We can't fall for it. We can't fall for their propaganda. Um, if you're going to sit there and, and be on socials and think you're going to get your information from there, uh, here's the bottom line. If you're looking at meta, if you're looking at mainstream media, if you're looking at Google, they're all manipulated by the Biden administration, right, which is in complete violation of constitutional law because they're becoming state actors basically and as soon as you're a state actor you are covered or you're required to act under constitutional law which they're not um you know musk is really the only one with x or twitter whatever you still want to call it they're still keeping the free speech because if you look at his platform it's nothing about the or it's everything about the assassination attempt and all these other ones are not uh, you got the mainstream media telling lies going, oh, Trump fell. So, again, they're trying to compare, oh, here's this this old man falling down on stage, which he didn't. Right. Man was shot by a bullet. Um, and oh, by the way, this 79 year old man overpowered. Overpowered his Secret Service detail to throw fist bumps out there. Not once. A couple different times. Right. When he should have been in that limo lickety split. So. I would tell you this, my fellow Americans, you, you got to get on it, right? If you are one of those individuals that had one of those uh, congressmen vote against SAFE Act, <laughs> got to get rid of them, right? Got to get on the horn and say, hey, buddy, your time is done really over politics. You're going to sit there and go, our God-given right as Americans is to vote in our election via our, our, our uh, constitutional republic. It's like, no way, man. Don't give that stuff up. We're not going to give it away. We already got illegals here that little undercover footage, right? You might see it come out on one of these uh, platforms we're on if it doesn't get pulled down, right? But you got illegals here in North Carolina registered to vote. So we got we to gotta get this stopped, guys, right? We are in some crazy times. Um, whenever we've got assassination attempts on presidential candidates, it, it's concerning. Yeah. Is, is, and, is it true? Go ahead. And we want to be clear, too, that the the actor, the individual is responsible for this. OK, oh. no question. Yep. We're not blaming anybody else. No. However, exactly what you're speaking about, Rick, is when you start 
raising that political, that temperature mm -hmm. of divisiveness. You, you know, people believe in separate things, totally polarized, right? And you start raising that temperature and you start saying things mm -hmm. and you start doing things like bad mouthing my man, taking my man to court, spreading lies, trying to, you know, get him convicted, then mm -hmm. get him convicted again. You keep doing this thing, trying to, you know, costing him, you know, hundreds of, or tens of millions, not hundreds of millions of dollars. This is just a natural progression. Mm -hmm. This is just, this isn't surprising that this has been escalating for a long time now. This isn't surprising to me. Is it shocking? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, but it, is it, it totally outside of the possibility? Hell no. I think it was an inevitability with the way that they talk, the, the far left radicals, mm -hmm. they talk about it. They say things like he's Hitler. Uh, oh, yeah. Fight for this fight for democracy. If he gets elected, it's going to be the end of Masha. There'll never be another election again. Mm -hmm. It surprises you that one unhinged individual acts on that. Yeah. And it's all him. It's all him. No one, you know, I'm not suggesting anything other than that. Criminals formerly with us. It's a damn shame. Not, but that's him. He's responsible for that. But is it surprising? Absolutely not. Look what they tried to do to him. Look what they tried to do to him. So I want you to go ahead and comment on that real quick, Rick. No, it, it, it they're just fanning the flames of hate, right? So they'll sit yep. there and throw a pregnant woman, I think she was pregnant or had a newborn, right, off a, a United flight because she didn't use proper pronouns for some mm -hmm. flight attendant. Yeah. Okay. But they'll compare him to Hitler. They'll, they'll sit there and go, hey, if he's voted in, he's the end of democracy. How many of these freaking – elected officials have threatened some type of bodily violence against him. Yeah. E even, even the old freaking bumbling Joe, right? I'll take him behind the, the woodshed mm -hmm. and show him. No, you won't dude. Right. You can, you'll fall going to the woodshed, yeah. but, and we sit there and we're shocked. Right? I won't say we're shocked. Right. But, but it's like, it's okay if it comes from the left to go, Hey, we should punch him in the face. You know, he needs to be taken out. Right. Like, like there's some, there's some no kidding um, threatening words being thrown out by people. Look how Robert and, De Niro talks about him every chance he gets. Oh, dude, it, th they all do, right? They yeah. all talk this. Really? So, okay, dopes, you're better off now than you were when he was in. And in one point I got to bring up, right? You want to talk about sacrificing. My man lost $1 billion in assets when he served those four years, 1 billion, he took a, a billion dollar hit net worth went from three or was it 3.5 billion? I think it was like to 2.5 billion. The four years he was in billion dollar. When all these other cats, all these other recent presidents, right? Their net worth is always coming out ahead, but this guy takes a billion dollars. over a hundred million dollars. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I think yeah. old Brock, pocketed 700 million oh. rolling out of the white house damn right how, do, how does that happen hmm. yeah we, we won't get into that but anyway <laughs> um my, my whole point being is they are the left is is extremely afraid because we've already seen he's unfiltered which, which that's the guy we need but we had a booming economy when he was in and my biggest concern is how many Dude, you, you got these libs out there. Oh, I can't believe this guy missed. I can't believe this, right? Yeah. How much, what's going to be the repercussions? How many other idiots are going to get fired up and go, oh, so-and-so couldn't do the job? I'll do the job. Yeah. Right? There it, was uh, there was an aide, a congressional aide that said, yeah, they uh, too bad that guy didn't practice. He, he, didn't make, he won't next, uh, miss next time or something like that. They got mm -hmm. canned. They got fired. Okay. Um, Fine. I, but at the same time, those comments are all over the place. You know, of mm -hmm. course, you have the no gunners, you know, hey, uh, it's all because they didn't have gun laws and all this other stuff. You know, those things are going to happen. But we're talking about someone trying to assassinate another human being and end up killing another one by, yeah. you know, uh, so none of this should be on the table that, you know, first of all, political violence like this, the riots, especially mm -hmm. uh, an ass assassination attempt. It, it's not, it's probably one of the most un-American things that you can do yeah. that we're a democracy. 
it, it's third world country crap, right? It's third that, world country you, crap. That's what you expect to see in some other country. Yep. Oh, you're my political opponent. Let me take you out. Right. Yeah, that's but what Putin not, does. That's what Putin does. Yeah. Hey, man, you're gonna go to the freaking uh, to Siberia to the Gulag for a while. Going away, okay. going. See you later. Right. Or he's or he's gonna poison you with some freaking radioactive crap in your food or whatever he's gonna have his little KGB studs doing. Right. Here's my point. Um, we're better than that. Yep. But we're not because the left is you know just fanning all these flames, man, stirring stuff up, making all these stupid comments. And here's the deal, my fellow Americans, man. Look at. If you're looking at these cats in Hollywood, old pedo central for your guidance, for your direction, for your wisdom, I'm sorry, man. You know, there's very few there that's worth the crap. Know about a handful, right? The rest of them, dude, piss on them. You got to look at your own values. And here's the bottom line. We're Americans, right? Where do we make the difference? We make it at the ballot box. We, we make it through free speech where we can debate our differences with our fellow Americans. We're not out there blatantly just murdering our opponents or trying to jail our opponents or do all this other crap. We're not going to sit there and have our voices silenced. And that's part of the whole reason for on the range podcast, right? Is to be able to, to get our word out there, but we have to have that ability to be able to speak clearly Right. And here's the bottom line. This crap, like I hate the word misinformation. OK, well, it's either the truth, it's fake or a rumor. Right. What's misinformation? Uh, it's called propaganda. And that's usually what the government's trying to pump down your throat currently. So don't be falling in for that trap and don't use their words. Right. So, like, I love when you go, oh, they're migrants. No, they're not. They're illegal aliens. They crossed illegally into this country. You don't get a buy, right? Don't be changing words, you know. I forget what they call pedos, right? But pedos aren't even pedos anymore. You're going to give them some stupid other term, right? They're trying to dumb the American people down. And if we use this verbiage time over time over time, people are going to start believing it. How many times does CNN need to say that, you know, Trump's Hitler before somebody goes, oh, yeah, that dude's Hitler. No, he's not. Yeah, before someone takes him serious. Exactly. Yeah. Right. It, it's how the, long? How long? It, it's the propaganda machine. Yeah. And I'm sure I'm not a super propagandist. I don't know how many times you got to hear something before you believe it. And, you know, granted, some people will do it easier than others. But my point being is we're at a very delicate point. But I think here's the thing. Everything what the left is doing is backfiring. Yeah. It, it's all, you know, you try to convict them. Dude, as soon as you just said he's guilty of 32 counts of, of felon, you know, felonious charges, whatever they were. Yeah. I don't, nobody even knows what the charges were, right? Dude, you just put him in the White House. Now you well, got some, go ahead. That, that that's a great point because you know it's very, you know, it's 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 video, there's photos, there's audio of an assassination attempt. It's you mm -hmm. know, it's shocking. It's it's not something that you see things happening like that here, right? So you see this go on. There's a piece of, of footage that Ben Shapiro was showing. And there's one camera guy, one camera guy, as everybody's you know coming out, stands mm -hmm. up. Everybody's still on the ground. Mm -hmm. My man quite possibly takes the most iconic photograph, political photograph that has ever been taken in the history of the United States. And I'm going to tell you right now, if I was the Trump team, that image would be on every campaign T-shirt I have, every poster, every commercial. Go look. You, everybody knows what photo I'm talking about. It's the one with him raising his face with the blood coming across his cheek and the American mm -hmm. flag in the background. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so iconic. And all those images and all these things, especially that photo. It's just so iconic that it literally is going to change how things are from this day forward. Mm -hmm. And you said it best. You know, we're, we're 
I we needed that spark, but you've said it before. We need that that uh, September twelfth day again. Yeah, buddy, that's today. Yeah, buddy, that's today yeah. because it, it is it is something that is going to unite the country with the way you can say a lot about the man. He could have acted any way, and nobody would have uh, said anything about him. Mm-hmm. But he stood up, wasn't going to be fettered. He just wasn't. Yeah. Wasn't going to be. Wasn't going to let it happen. No. And it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. But here's here's the sad part with all that, Mark, right? That could have very easily been prevented. I know. Y- you know, it, because let, let's be an honest broker. If we were to honestly take a look at history, you would have thought that when Barack Obama was in office, there would have been an assassination attempt against him, right? You would have thought, with as with as much as they want to say we're this racist country, right? And I'm just using the left's terms. You would have thought there would have been an attempt, but what negates those attempts is the security measures around that individual, which unfortunately yesterday were grossly lacking. One officer up in that roof would have prevented that whole thing from happening, right? But instead, whether you want to call it incompetence, whether you want to call it insider job, whether you want to call it whatever, only time will tell us. Yeah. The point being, is that's how you prevent these catastrophic events from happening is by having strong security. And we know for a fact that the left is afraid of him because he's not under their influence of whatever garbage all these politicians have on each other, whatever dirt they use to manipulate each other. Um, Saw it when he was sitting there, you know, putting his different tweets out there in the morning when he was up in the White House, whatever the case may be. My point being to all of this is we, as Americans, have to do a better job vetting the propaganda we're getting. I'm sorry, but, you know, CNN constantly comparing him to Hitler, uh, Mm -hmm. them trying to compare him to bumbling Biden going, Oh, he had to be escorted off by the Secret Service. Oh, Pops made him fall down. Oh, he fell down. No. Why did none of the mainstream media want to sit there and go, somebody tried to kill him, right? And worse yet, another American tried to kill a presidential candidate. Oh, and former president. You can't forget that part, right? He's already had the job once. He's going for number two. But my point being to all this is we, and I think the the spark has been done because people realized, what are you doing, right? It's one thing to lose at the ballot box fairly, keyword being fairly. It's another thing to go, there's your political opponent, and let's go kill the man. Yeah. And here's the thing. Trump's youngest son was there. Mm Mm-hmm. What would have happened if that boy got clipped, right? Because we basically had two of Trump supporters. One was killed, catastrophic head injury, right? Nothing nothing could happen to him, uh, and another one was wounded. But, I, I mean, this is the part we're talking about. We're talking about killing fellow Americans. Yeah. You, you know? Yeah. I, and I'm a, surprised there wasn't more yeah. injured there, to be honest with you. Yeah, and it, it's um, and it sads uh, it saddens us, um, and you know this this man who uh, seemingly ultimately was protecting his family and uh, was killed. Um, you know, it's just it we can't forget about that that an American was killed um, senselessly by someone who acted alone, as far as we know, acted alone. Yeah but believing the rhetoric that people are saying on the radical left side that mm-hmm. has just raised the the temperature in the room extremely high and he bought into it yeah. and you know that evil evil person killed somebody and tried to kill the president president you know it's yeah. unbelievable yeah. it's unbelievable 
Not surprising, though. Not surprising. No, it's, it, it, with as much, with as much, and I hate to even use the word hate speech, right? Because what the hell is hate speech this day and age? It's such a twisted word. Yeah. But with as much demonization as whether it's fellow politicians, whether it's mainstream media, whether it's people not being able to voice their opinion or wrongly voicing their opinion against this man. What's not to think that one of these, you know, not so uh, mentally strong individuals sits there and takes it and, and believes the propaganda and goes, well, I got to do yeah. something about it. Right. Right. It, you know, when you sit there and go, he's going to be the fall of our democracy. Well, no, we're a constitutional republic. But we won't get into that. Um, not even using the right verbiage there, peeps. But anyway, how much crap can somebody who's mentally unstable go, oh, he's going to end it all for us and believe it and then executes? Yeah. You know, I mean, so my point being is, again, don't support this radical left agenda. We've got the ability to do it, and I think we're in the position where we're starting to see this astronomical swing to the right where those that hated Trump, I mean, that's kind of the final straw. Okay, cool. You convict him for felonious charges, which still don't really know what those felonies were. Um, but then you try to kill the man. Yeah. And, and he's still a father, right? He's still a husband. I, I mean, to kill another human being for what? Yeah. I guess they didn't get the desired effect from all these charges. I don't know. But, you know, it's it's a natural progression to me. But but it's 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 third world crap, right? Oh, absolutely. So, so, so is trying to jail your political opponents. You know what I mean? You, you know, you try to silence them. So you try yeah. to pull all his social stuff. Yep. Okay, fine. He he gets truth social and gets his own platform. Says, all right, hey, I'll I'll still keep putting my word out there. All right. Then you sit there and, and convict him on 32 charges of what? I, I don't even know what the charges are, right? Like I can't even go. Um, I got nothing. And I don't think those that convicted him even knew what they were, right? Okay, that's fine. So that that didn't work because how are you going to put a former president? Uh, honestly, how are you going to put him in jail? Is he going to have where's his protected? Where's the Secret Service detail at? Right? <laughs> be, be, because he has a, a protective detail for life, right? It doesn't say if you're convicted of a felony and no. in prison that, that that detail goes away. Do they stand outside his door? Are they armed? Are they not armed? I, I mean, what are we doing here, right? But that didn't work. So what? Now we're going to try to kill the man? Yeah. What, what What's going to happen next? You know, what's going to be the next attempt? I, I don't yeah. know. Is there another yeah. crazy bird out there that's, oh, that didn't work, right? And, and you got these libs that are freaking hot about it. Really? Yeah. It, it, listen to me. You're aggravated or upset or hurt because a man wasn't murdered. What the hell is wrong with you people? Yeah. There was some actor, actress that was saying it was staged. Yeah. Tell that to the, the victim's family who was, uh, who didn't make it out. Yeah. Tell them that, tell them it was staged. Yeah. You know, the, the funny thing is, is they've tried to slander him. They tried to put him in jail. Now, you know, someone who bought into their rhetoric tried to kill him. They did all these things. People are starting to realize, you know, with the, the Hunter Biden stuff and the way Joe's been acting, mm -hmm. it's very un-American. Mm -hmm. They couldn't, th what happened yesterday could not have made President Trump look more American than what happened after the fact, the way he acted and the way he responded. His, his uh, messages to everybody in the family, his decision to say, you know what, I wasn't going to go to the RNC until Wednesday. I'm going today, bro. Those kind of things, that's American. And here's yeah. what he's and, making them look like. And, an and American. Even, even his actions, let, let's be an honest broker, right? Even his actions actions on that stage, right? My 79-year-old former president sat there and overpowered his protective service detail to fist bump the crowd and tell him to fight, yep. right? With blood it running said down. USA, USA. Yep. Running, down his, yep. running down his face. Yep. Right. And then, oh, by the way, they still couldn't overpower him because when he got to the limo, he gave another fist bump. 
Mm -hmm. Tell me what does not project more of an American image than that. No. So, so do you want the dude that's slapping, lapping on ice cream, falling down on his bike, can't climb up a set of stairs? Or do you want the powerhouse that just got freaking shot? And then, oh, by the way, my man's out playing golf the next day, right? Still going on his regular stuff, heading to Milwaukee, right? Like, like this didn't phase him. How I mean, long before there's a meme where they put the the Rocky music behind everything that he did on the way to Lambo? How long do you think that'll take? A day? Probably already out, one out there. Probably. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But. You can say a lot about the guy, but he's not doing it for vanity. He's not doing it for money. It's costing no. him money. He's doing it because he, I truly believe that he has a dedication to this country where he has been able to make money, allow other people to make money, employ so many people, and mm -hmm. he knows how great it is, and he's he's fighting for it. He and is fighting for it. Yeah, and he's giving his money away. I mean – yep. At the end of the day, this man is a true patriot. Mm -hmm. With all, and, and his actions speak louder than his words, in my they, opinion. They do. And there's been some historical things that have been put out that every, you know it's not well prior to him even being or, or putting his hat in for running for election, right? Because people have asked him early on, like in the '80s, and he's even said, "Hey, politics, dirty business, right?" Yeah. He's like, "I don't want to have to, but if I have to, I will." And that's yeah, pretty much what me, he said I'll do debate. it. If they if they need me, I'll do it. Right. That, that's what he said at the debate. He's yeah. like, I'm here because Bozo can't do it. Yep. Yeah. I got to step up to the plate. Yeah. But dude, you want to talk about a patriot? My yeah. man's it. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Good show, man. Uh, yeah, buddy. The cr crew members, you got some stuff at the beginning. Uh, folks who are listening on the audio or at the uh, today is Sunday. And what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to release this on Tuesday, maybe even tomorrow. I haven't decided yet because we want to keep current with some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, if you want to get this bonus content, you got to go sign up for the crew. If you're not a member of the crew already, you go to warhog.com, go to kellydefense.com. There's a button where you can sign up. You can try it for free with all access packets for seven days. But if you want the good stuff, you got to get the tier levels. And if you join the tier levels, you get Facebook groups, you get lives like this, you get all kinds of stuff. You get Zoom mm -hmm. calls. We got one coming tomorrow. So if you try the free trial today, uh, you'll be able to enjoy it on uh, Monday night. So anyway, great show. Crew members, stand by. Uh, anything else you want to say, Rick? No, man. Biggest thing, uh, keep your head up, my fellow Americans. You guys train hard. Stay safe. We'll see you on the range. And God bless the United States of America. On the Range Podcast.